Hey, Chris here. Today I want to do a first look at the PackSafe VentureSafe G3. So we'll take a look at the outside of the bag, take a quick look inside, and then I do want to show what this looks like when I throw this on my back. PackSafe bags are known for their integrated security features. And in my opinion, just a nice, well-built bag. So I wanted to look at some exterior features of the bag and talk about some of those integrated security features. So I know on face value, this looks like every other typical backpack you see. So again, just starting with some exterior features, a nice padded grab handle on the top of the bag. The bag does have two water bottle pockets on each side. And then you will have some compression straps on the side of the bag. Looking at the front of the bag, you're gonna have a place on the bottom that you can connect an item if necessary. We'll have one smaller pocket on the front and then your main compartment as well. Turning the bag around, some nice padded shoulder straps, nice padding on the back of the bag. You'll see it does incorporate a sternum strap in addition to a waist strap that's easily removed if you decide not to use that. So what are some of the built-in security features? So a few I want to uh, touch on. The first is this bag does have the integrated exo mesh. And the thinking behind that, from what I understand, is basically if someone was to come up behind you with a knife to try to get your items to fall out, they try to do that. And again, you have that built-in exo mesh that's going to prevent your items from falling out in a lot of, or if not most situations. Also, the zippers on this bag, they have been updated. So you're going to have the zippers that are going to slide into each other. And they have also included their rebar locking mechanism on this bag. So once your zippers are locked, you bring it to the central point towards the top of your bag. This slides over. You have a piece that just snaps down, locking this in place. So if someone was trying to get into your bag, you're going to realize what's going on and again, hopefully prevent the person from doing so. And you have the same zippers on this small pocket as you do on the larger compartment as well. So turning the back bag around, the bag also includes some metal wire in your backpack straps. Again, the hope is if someone was coming up with a knife to slash your backpack strap to grab it off, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult for them to do so. And hopefully you feel what's going on and you can take appropriate action. Also towards the top of this bag, they have integrated a mechanism that's going to allow you to remove your shoulder strap here. And what you can do once you remove this is you can put it around the arm of a chair or a leg of a table or whatever the situation might be and kind of lock that back in place. So again, just gives you a little bit more security if you're sitting at a restaurant or whatever and someone doesn't quickly grab your bag. And it does allow you to put a lock through this, again, just to make it a little bit more secure. So next what we'll do is we'll just take a quick look inside this bag. Let's start by taking a look in the smaller front pocket. Again, you do have the dual zippers. When you unzip, you're going to see some pretty nice space inside. It does give you the ability to organize some of your items. Small mesh pocket. And it comes with the RFID protected pocket as well. Also, a place to put a pen or pencil and then just a smaller pocket here. So moving into the larger main compartment of the bag, if I can find my zippers. Some nice space. Again, you're going to see your sleeve for your laptop or water bladder. So what I want to do is just, I have a um, Eagle Creek packing cube, one of their clean, dirty cubes, size medium. And again, I just stuffed a bunch of, of items in here just to show what this looks like because again, that's pretty well packed. And you're gonna see this bag handles that very, very well. And again, the interior of the bag is pretty basic, especially your main compartment. Really the main thing there is the laptop sleeve. And the front pocket does give you that RFID protection and the ability to organize some of your items as well. So next what we'll do is we'll take a look at this bag when I throw it on my back. 
when you're in the market for a new bag, I realize how important it is to see what a bag looks like on someone. So with that being said, I am approximately five foot nine, around 200 pounds. Go ahead and adjust this. So to finish up, I did want to give just some quick thoughts on this bag. This bag retails for approximately $120. Even though this bag is relatively new, if you do shop around, you can definitely find the bag marked down. I actually purchased this bag off of Amazon, and this color in particular was marked down to around $108. Even on eBags recently with a promo or a coupon code, again, it was around that same price as well. So pick the bag up for around $108 plus tax. So what I really like about PackSafe overall is, like I mentioned before, just the integrated security features the bag offer. This one in particular, because again, it looks like just your everyday backpack and not much stands out about it. And in a lot of situations to me, that's exactly how I want it. And I know recently I've looked at a couple of bags, um, sling bags and one thing I like about a sling bag is the fact you can put some essentials in there. But a lot of times your essentials could be a passport or a wallet, and those bags typically don't offer any kind of security feature. So if I had to put my items in a bag, even a camera, a GoPro, anything like that, I would feel a lot more secure if I'm able to really kind of lock it up or just feel that sense of security. And I know not every situation is avoidable and you could definitely still have items stolen or whatever the case might be but the added protection in a lot of situations is worth the cost so again this bag does come at a premium around the 120 mark but again it's going to give you a little bit more peace of mind and could potentially help in some of those rare situations we might find ourselves in so overall i do feel like this is a very good well-built bag nice quality nice features. I like the fact you can put a laptop in here or you can put that water bladder just in, instead. Also I like that they've incorporated water bottle pockets which should be on every backpack that's similar to this and you can even cinch your bag down with your compression straps. So I guess just a quick grab, grab I have is that one of my complaints with the Vibe 25 when I looked at that way back it's just I don't like the fact that your locking mechanism is right there, kind of in the middle of your bag. Um, to me, it makes more sense on the side, but I know I'm probably in the minority there. Um, I do like the central locking position to where you can get everything in and out very quickly. But uh, again, I just don't like the fact it's right there in someone's face. Um, so again, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I like it when it's more discreet, I guess. Also, there is a little bit of plastic in the mechanism here. So anytime I see plastic, there's always potential to fail. Again, those are just my small gripes with the bag. Um, but overall, again, nice bag. I love PackSafe just in general. Good quality bags. So as always, thank you so much for taking time to watch. Please like, subscribe, and leave those comments. Again, thank you so much.